Hey guys, welcome to the career mode of Chivas, guys. I know uh, I haven't made videos like in a week. I think tomorrow is going to be a week since I posted my last video, uh, which uh, I want to apologize for that, guys, but I've been, I've been a little bit sick. If I still sound a little bit sick, I'll be better. That's why that's why I haven't been streaming also, but uh, saying that, I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, and... I'm gonna bring you guys the next episode of the Chivas Career Mode. I think I believe we are in the year 2018 currently, and we started with the losing streak in the last episode. But right here, we started winning with that nice goal uh, score at the 17 minute first goal, and we were beating. Um, we were beating the Cucks at 1 0, and that was a goal from Lionel Lopez, the uh, the former Leon player, which now playing in Chivas for us right here, guys. That we went and get him, and then our, our youngster Cano that we signed from a young uh, youth academy, uh, he managed to almost score that goal, but it was in dead end in the 1 0, guys, with the goal of Lionel uh, Lopez. And then Cruz Azul offered us. Uh, Three, uh, three million for. Uh, actually, they offer offer us less by actually send a counter offer. Uh, we wanted a three point three for uh, for um, our player. But right here, guys, I know uh, Pizarro is now on Chivas, so we went and offer uh, Villarreal Javier Hernandez. And why did I offer Javier Hernandez? It's because his contract was about to expire and I don't think he was gonna set a renew uh, because I didn't have that much money to cover his renew so I did manage to yes send him to Villarreal and uh, they send us no other than Pizarro so Pizarro will be on our team now so our next game guys this game is actually happened this weekend um, and it's gonna be the Chivas versus Atlas El Clasico Tapatio guys I might be doing a uh, simulation on this classical guys for all of you guys they uh, like the simulation so uh, that is coming up guys but right here guys we get this first opportunity and what a goal and Lozano managed to score that go to make it 1-0 guys so that was gonna be the 1-0 for uh, Lozano or Irving Lozano uh, first goal there and then guys in the second half we did brought in uh, Chofi Lopez I believe and uh, Edson Torres into the pitch uh, and then right here guys Atlas gets this opportunity uh, for some reason they get that nice uh, cross and he and their player managed to uh, head that one to make it 1-1 one -one. and right here guys we got an open uh, open space with Alan Pulido he gets fouled by Jimenez and Jimenez is gonna be red carded and he's gonna be out of there so um, Leighton Jimenez gets that red card with the penalty he did on Pulido so we're gonna be taking that one with Pulido so we're gonna be taking this one guys and we're gonna go to the right with a little bit of power not that much I never do a lot of power on my on my PKs because sometimes I do miss penalty so uh, there it is fully the scoring that 2-1 uh, for Chivas and Chivas was winning El Clasico Tapatio or the Derby of Guadalajara which is basically what it is so Derby de Guadalajara uh, Chivas was taking it a la Pulido with for first goal there guys um, and then right here guys the game came to and then so we went 2-1 and we were simulating some training for Edson Torres a youngster from Chivas guys so we were gonna have two games one during the week and one on the weekend so we're gonna face uh, Juarez first so I was gonna go with the with the alternative team just so I can have the main team for the Pumas game which it was gonna be next and right here uh, that the debut of Pizarro was coming up guys remember that uh, Pizarro was on Villarreal we just signed him and he's gonna be playing his first game with uh, with Chivas uh, with us here against Jaguares a nice uh, cutback right here guys uh, Edson Torres looking for the shot but a nice save by the goalkeeper of Chiapas which is not Munoz actually Munoz is still in America on this on this game uh, this season because you guys know that the transfers don't get updated on career mode so 
Uh, we managed to score that 1 0 with uh, Saldivar scoring that goal to make it 1 0, guys. But yeah, guys, like I said, I already had started this career more before, uh, before Chiapas. Uh, God Munoz, so Munoz is still in America and stuff like that, guys. So, right here, they get a very nice uh cross right here, guys. Two Navas, former Chivas player Julio, uh, Julio Navas, is scoring that goal for um Chiapas, the former Chivas player, uh, scoring that goal for that equalizer 1 1. And Chiapas and Guadalajara were equalizing, guys. But that wasn't it, guys. Look at this nice pass by Ponce. And then it goes to Saldivar. Saldivar gets the rebound and he managed to score that 2 1. So we were winning 2 1 to make this game a very good game for us we do needed those three points especially because we actually started losing in the first episode guys uh of this uh i believe we're in the apertura tournament now so uh we we just started losing this apertura tournament guys and then right here guys uh we get another opportunity and we had a goal there from edson torres the youngster that we got him from uh I think we he we had him like in the, he started with that rating 57 and he's now a 66 rated player so we actually progressed his rating very good and he is pretty high rated now for for a for a bronze that started with the 57 rated card so uh, he he is a pretty good player from now on and right here guys we quit Orbelin and that shot but it ends up going wide not a problem for the goalkeeper of Chapas guys that game does come to an end and we pick up the victory 3-1 guys and we were winning that game so Alan Pulido sent us a message that he wants to see uh, be starting games and that's not going to be a problem especially that we already got rid of Chicharito Hernandez so he's probably going to be starting the games now and he's going to be starting uh, against uh, Pumas so we're going to be starting against Pumas uh, him and see if he does something good for us here against Puma. So let's go. Let's go see, guys, what happens on this games. Uh, Guadalajara versus Pumas. Uh, man, just think about this games. It brings up memories on uh, when Chivas lost the final against Pumas, when uh, Rafael Medina missed that penalty. But let's get into the game, game guys. Right here, he got an opportunity. What a save by Cota. Saving that one, guys. And then we get right here a very good opportunity. What a nice to Alan Pulido. Nice pass to Alan Pulido from Gallito Vasquez. Alan Pulido managed to score that one and managed to put the one zero for Chivas so we were winning guys those three points it seemed they were coming our way so a very nice goal from Alan Pulido there guys uh, but that wasn't it guys uh, we do have another opportunity right here nice pass to Jurgen Dam Jurgen Dam passes to our youngster Sandoval and he gets the rebound and gets that one in uh, we got the youngster guys uh, we actually signed up from our young academy and he's probably the player that we're gonna be selling because that's one of our requirements uh that we have to develop a player and sell a player so we already have him like in a 68 rating so he probably i hope we get uh offers from him in the next window because he's been playing very good for us and he's just becoming a very good player uh, and then right here guys we get another opportunity what i say by the Picolin there uh, saving Pumas guys and then right here uh, we ended up doing a foul in the midfield guys and the reason I'm gonna show you this play guys because look at this this is what I call a counter attack we win the ball with a header and then guys we get the ball right there with Carlitos Fierro Carlitos Fierro sits Edson Torres Torres with the ball right there guys Edson Torres what he's gonna do cut back and then passes to Alan Pulido. Alan Pulido with a finish shot to the far post. Hits the post, goes inside the goal, and makes it 3 0, guys. And the Dead Fish celebration there. A very nice goal from Alan Pulido, guys. But this game wouldn't be enough, guys, without Carlitos Fierro scoring his goal. He did very good assist today. And look at that goal from Carlitos Fierro to make it 4-0 over Pumas, guys. 
and for sure i thought that three points was gonna be uh ours by now guys but you never could count down pumas down because pumas at the time they had left they had one opportunity uh, right here we did get it offside guys but at the last minute Pumas gets this opportunity I slide tackle miss the light tackle so I miss my slide tackles we 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 give them this opportunity and of course Pumas is not gonna uh it's not gonna miss that one and they make it a 4-1 so at least they made their consolation goal and that was gonna be 4-1 against Puma. So we're gonna walk out with the victory, guys. 4-1, and those three points are gonna be very good. And that leave us, guys. That leave us on the seventh place of the table. So seventh place on the table, not bad. Monterrey is our first. Santos, uh, second. Tigres third. So very good player, uh, teams there. So guys, uh, some of you guys asked me to show you how the players have progressed. And we're in 2018, guys, and for some reason, Kota has not progressed. For some reason, Kota is 71 rated. He just doesn't progress. I don't know if it's his, how many years he has. Uh, at least we brought in Sanchez to a 70. Uh, and then Sandoval, he's probably one of the guys that has progressed. Fierrito has progressed. Jurgen Dam has progressed. Alan has progressed to a 75. Edson Torres to a 66. Um, Avion uh, Ramirez to a 70. And uh, Chofis to a 73. Tortas to a 69. Which when we started with him, he was 65. So most of our players haven't progressed, but some of them uh, have progressed, guys. So uh, yeah, very good players. These are just my youth academy there uh i think orbelin has the highest rated player we have a 77 him and pizarro with the 78 guys so guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of the chivas career mode and i'll see you guys next time adios